So Donald Trump somehow managed to hit a new low this week. He was on the campaign trail, and he said the following about war. The problem is we have the Geneva Conventions. <laughs> what the fuck? All sorts of rules and regulations. So the soldiers are afraid to fight. Oh, God. So now he views the Geneva Conventions as a, quote, problem. Donald, it's not that the soldiers are afraid to fight. It's that the soldiers are perhaps rightly afraid to, I don't know, massacre civilians? So, for those of you who don't know, the Geneva Conventions was done after World War II, and it basically separates civilized people from savages. <laughs> Donald Trump is like, I am pro-savage. I would like to roll back the clock. I'd like us to be savages and barbarians, because I think we're the good guys by definition, so no matter what we do is okay, because we're us. We're special. Mommy told me. So, we get to do whatever we want, and it's okay. So the Geneva Conventions, which lays out basic rights of wartime prisoners, forget about it. It protects the wounded and the sick, forget about it. And most importantly, it established protections for civilians. The whole point is, hey, don't target civilians. Well, then I guess it really is unsurprising that Donald Trump is against this, because you guys remember when he was on Fox and Friends, he advocated attacking civilians in the Middle East. They were discussing ISIS. He's like, you know, the real thing we got to do is we got to go after their families. We gotta go after their families because that'll really show them. They care about their families' lives more than they care about their own lives. We gotta go after their families. So you want to attack innocent mothers, fathers, grandmas, grandpas, toddlers, babies? This is the families. You gotta attack the families. And now you would be different from them how? I believe that's what their thing is. Yeah, we're gonna attack everybody. We're gonna go after everybody. Anybody who's, uh you know, an infidel. Any evil Shia or any evil Christian, Westerner, whatever. We're going to go after all you. Innocent, not, doesn't matter. You're all guilty to me. Guilty enough. That's exactly what Donald Trump says. Guilty enough. I'm going to go after the families. You happen to know somebody who's in ISIS. Guilty. I'm going to kill you. This guy's leading overwhelmingly on the Republican side. Overwhelmingly. The guy who's leading on the Republican side, who could very well be our next president, finally, it, you know, took the gloves off and said what the Republican Party, the politicians have been advocating for in coded language for all, the, all this time. Yeah, the Geneva Conventions, rules of war, they don't apply to us. And that's the thing about Donald Trump that really is fascinating and terrifying, of course, is that when it comes to certain issues, he's just the quintessential Republican. He's the more honest Republican. So, you know, you, you have all the neocons who were pro-torture, but then if you t said to them, you're pro-torture, they'd say, oh, No, I'm not! It's enhanced interrogation! <laughs> well, along comes Donald Trump, and he's like, let's stop pretending. Let's just stop pretending. Yeah, we're everything that the liberals have said we are all along. We're pro-torture, I'm pro-torture, I'd go even further than waterboarding. Uh, and yeah, I would attack civilians, and I wouldn't abide by the Geneva Conventions. There, I said it. All the neocons all along have agreed with this, and in fact, they've implemented policies that are right in line with that. But Donald Trump is just the honest one who says, yes, that's, a, that's what I'm doing. And when people just come out and say it, well, now there's a, a backlash, at least from the left, because now everybody understands, oh, we've now crossed the line where there's no turning back from that. Once you say no more international law, well, buckle up, because nobody else would ever abide by it either, if you're saying we're not going to abide by it. And then please, spare me this, now we're going to lecture the world about morality. We're the policemen of the world. Bitch, we don't got our own stuff to take care of? We got, the leading Republican is like, I will not pl uh, abide by international law. I will torture, I will kill civilians. So, he's advocating terrorism, and he's the leading contender on the Republican side. And we're going to tell other people, you're not allowed to do that. Freedom and democracy. World policemen. You know, we stand up for what's right. Except when we don't. And it's stuff like this. So, we're going down a bad path, man. We really are. There's some things that among civilized people are non-negotiable. One of those things is attacking civilians. Now that's being questioned. And the sad thing is, I think there are a lot of people in the Republican base who hear this and they go, Fuck yeah. Why? Call it what it is, they're not that bright. So, they're fundamentally incapable of putting themselves in somebody else's shoes. They don't think of it as, well, what if it was, 
you know, what if my cousin at one point was in the KKK or is a sovereign citizen or was just a mass shooter? Would it then be justified to do a drone strike of my mom's house? They don't think of it like that because they think it's them. They're all bad enough. They're all guilty enough. We're the good guys. They're the bad guys. Go ahead. Kill their civilians. They don't think of it as, no, that's a civilian. So it's the same as if somebody killed my mom because my brother did something. They don't think of it like that. It's a sad thing to behold.